वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल एट इज फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स येस्टडे मैसेज मी ऑन मैसेंजर से इन दैट डेसिमल डिविजन इज स्टिल अ बिट ऑफ कन्फ्यूजिंग थिंग सो दैट आई थॉट दैट लेट मी मेक अ वीडियो ऑन दैट एज वेल ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ समथिंग विच इज़ लाइक लेट से यू हैव टू डू डेसिमल डिविजन ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स अपॉन Uh, let's say just two, okay. So here you can directly say that your answer will be what one point eight because the carry forward the decimal can just get carried forward because there is no decimal in the denominator. Okay, problem arises. Problem arises when you have something like this zero point three six upon zero point two. This is where a lot of my students get stuck that they get confused that where. the final answer will have a decimal point so here i'm going to show you a very easy method and trust me this method will work in every single situation okay no matter the the digits after the decimal uh, are increasing in the numerator or are decreasing in the denominator it doesn't matter this will work every single time all you have to do is you just write this as what 36 upon what write down convert the numerator into fraction so that is what 36 upon 100 into write this 2 as it is and then convert this 2 as a fraction so this will be what 2 upon 10 now here all you have to do is just cancel the zeros please understand don't make the mistake of cancelling 36 by uh, and uh, sorry 36 and 10 making the 10 as 5 because dividing any number by 5 becomes difficult it is always easier to divide any number by 10 okay so now this is what 2 ones are and this is 18s are so you get the answer as what 18 upon 10 so final answer is what 1.8 okay so i hope you all have understood how to do this basic decimal division okay now let's try to do more of these but in a bigger numbers Uh, before going ahead, student, I would request all of you all if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, so that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. And also, a lot of you all keep watching the videos, but you all have not subscribed to the channel. If you can subscribe, then please do so because it really, really helps me a lot and gives me a lot of confidence in my um uh, content. Okay, and don't forget at the end I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section. Okay, so now next let's try for bigger values. Let's say if we had to do something like this: fifty nine point four three upon zero point zero zero three. Students, towards the end I'll explain you why a lot of you all get confused or what are the scenarios where this method will be super helpful. Okay. So please stick around till the end. So this can now be written as what fifty nine sorry five nine four. We have five nine four three upon hundred into three upon thousand. Okay, so here the zeros are cancelling. So please remember whenever whenever you come to a situation where you have a denominator to your denominator, you have a denominator. to your denominator then all you have to do is this number this number can get directly multiplied to the numerator so whatever answer you get you will get multiplied by what 5 or uh, multiplied by 10 okay so 3 you will cancel and you are left with what 1 9 8 1 so final answer for this one will be what 1 9 8 1 and 0 that is the answer for this particular division okay now very quickly let's look at one of this one more thing 1 2 3 5 5 divide by 0.5 so you are left with what let's convert this into fraction so this is what 10000 into 5 upon 10 so this is cancelling and then you just Cancel one two three. Sorry, you just divide one two three five by five. So you're left with what two za, four za, and seven za, and still there is a thousand below. So the answer for this one is nothing but what zero point two four seven. Okay. So I hope you are getting the hang of doing these kind of divisions. Okay. 
now let's very quickly look at the tie the uh, part where i told you that people get confused okay so here see if we had to do 6.342 divided by uh, let's say 2 so here you know that 3 is divisible sorry 6 is divisible by 2 to 3 will come here then there will be a point because the point gets carried forward and then we have 1 and then 7 and then 1 okay so that is the answer for this one now the confusion arises when you have something like this 5.566 and you have 11. So this is where people get stuck. They don't understand that you have to do 0 points. So it's better that you convert this as what you just remember that whatever answer you get, you will have to divide by 1000. This is what 506. So final answer for this one will be what 0 0.506. So I hope you understood that with this particular method, you don't have to worry about putting a zero and putting a point and all of that. Nothing to worry. You just directly do your division. Okay. Now, just let's for understanding sake, we take something like this. Let's say zero point um, 0.4 and divide by 0 0.05. If that is the case, then what do you do? Okay, so let's very quickly write this as nothing but about 4 upon 10 into 5 upon 100. Okay, so again the zeros are cancelling. So you all, we will divide what 4 and 5. So you, 4 divided by 10, 5 is what 0 0.8. But since there is a denominator to your denominator, so this 10 will get multiplied to your answer. So this will be what 0 0.8 into 10. So your final answer will be what just 8. I hope you all are getting the hang of doing these kind of tricks. Students, a lot of you all keep commenting that the books which I am recommending are in English or not. Yes, they are available in English only. So, please go ahead and check that book out because that is a fantastic book when it comes to learning Vedic math. And the best part about that book is it is suitable to every single age group. Okay. So, you don't have to worry that, you know, it's too, uh, like you're too old or you're too young for Vedic maths. No, that's not the case. It's suitable for everybody. Okay. So, now let's very quickly do one more and then we are like signing off 38.46. If we had to do something like this, divide by 0 0.06. Now, this is interesting. Why like that? Because 38, 3846 upon 100 and then we have what 6 upon 100. You, if you come across something like this, you directly cancel the zeros. So, you just divide 3846 by 6. So, you are getting what? 641. So, 641 is your answer for this particular question. Now, time for your DIY. I want you all to tell me what is 43.84 divided by 0 0.4. Do let me know your answers in the comment section. So, that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.